Hi everyone and welcome to Woodland Frenchies. Today we have a very good video for you guys and it is going to be Boston Terriers versus French Tins. We're going to talk about the two different breeds, uh, benefits, uh, differences, similarities, all that good stuff in today's video. Oh, right here with me I have a, two little French Tin puppies. So we're going to share these little ones with you and just go over the different facts about the two breeds. But before I do that guys, thanks for watching today's video. Feel free to check out our other videos in the past if you're looking for information about French Bulldogs, French Dens, and whether it's training, breeding, uh, raising, taking care of a puppy, we have all those videos you can check out. So yeah, we have two of Lucky's puppies here in my hands. They're about three weeks old, and these are little French Dens. They're actually three-quarter French Dens, and wanted to share these little guys with you. We actually have a litter video with that litter um, coming up. Um, here comes the mama, Lucky. Hey, come here, Lucky. Come here, Lucky. She is a beautiful French Den. She's 50-50. Yeah, good girl. Come here, Lucky. So she would definitely, she'd be a 50-50 French Den, guys. And obviously you can see some differences between her and a Boston Terrier right now. Uh, there's a couple of different things. The number one thing that I'd say that would stand out the most, besides she is, just has puppies and, you know, she looks pregnant. So, uh, she, the coat color for her. She has a blue merle coat color. Obviously with the Boston Terrier, you're not gonna be able to get that. So if you're a person who wants a more exotic, come here girly, up, up, good girl. More exotic looking dog. Uh, one way to do that would be to have a beautiful coat color like this or um, other colors like blue, blue merle, and so forth like these puppies here. Um, if you want just a standard brindle black coat colors, um, maybe a Boston would be the way you wanna still go. We, you can still get those with the French Den but the coat color is one of the biggest differences. Let's keep going over here. We're gonna follow Lucky around all the way top. Another difference would be the ears. If you saw uh, Lucky, she has, her ears are up. What did you find? Drop that, you don't want that. You don't want that, no. Good girl. <laughs> uh, her ears are up. Come Lucky, let that go, let that go. Let that go. Okay. Her ears are up. Come here, Lucky, come, come. Her ears are up, so that would be one thing if you like the ears more up instead of cropped. Definitely go with a French tin. Um, as far as size goes, um, French tins are gonna be maybe a hair bigger than a Boston Terrier. Uh, Boston Terrier should be around 18 to 20 pounds. Uh, French tin's gonna be more like, I'd say 18 to 25, depending on the mom, mom and dad's weight. Uh, Personality-wise, between the two, I mean, they both have, both breeds have great personalities. You can't go wrong personality-wise. I would just say the French Tins are a little bit more, I would say, human-like, funny, uh, a little more laid-back than a Boston Terrier. So the French Tins will be have that attribute to them. All right, Lucky. All right, Lucky. Still pretty athletic, playful as far as the. French Dens go because the Boston Terriers are super springy, uh, can jump really high, and move really fast. Come here, Lucky. Come. Come here, girly. What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing? Um, the health concerns between the two. Uh, when you, with a French Den, you are breeding two breeds together, which you know for the most part, when you do two breeds together, it does take away some of the genetic issues potentially you could get. Um, it's a kind of it's a good thing. Uh, with with a purebred AKC registered Boston Terrier or French Bulldog, uh, you know there's more likely that a disease or something could come through with that unless you do health test your dogs, which we do with our French Bulldog. So, uh, with, whenever you do buy a pure breed, make sure that they are health tested or that they have been tested for any genetic disease. Again, when you breed two breeds different together, that kind of uh, helps not allow that to happen. So. That would be a benefit for a French Den, you know, it's just going to be for sure a healthier pup. You rarely have issues with French Dens that in that way. Yeah. With a French Den uh, compared to a Boston Terrier, I mean, it's other, other than the color, the ears, maybe a little bit more laid back for a French Den, they are very similar. I would just say the biggest thing between the two is going to be the look, uh, that you're, you know, the look. Uh, if you want something, and, and, the, and the confirmation, so one thing with her, she. Lucky is a little bit more, I'd say, less compact, bulky. Um, for the most part, French Dens are gonna be more bulkier, 
and especially a three-quarter French shins, they're gonna have more short burst stock to your body uh, than that wiry frame of a Boston Terrier. So if that's something you want, if you want that more pudgy look, then I would say definitely go with a, a French shin. Good puppy. Good girl, Lucky. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. What else about you that would be different? Yeah, yeah. So whenever you're looking for, if you're all set on a French and litter, again, the main thing would be coat color, body type, and then the health of the dog would be a big reason why you're looking for a French. And a lot of people go to the French Dens because in the past they did have a Boston Terrier. They, they didn't hear about the French Bulldogs. So they want to kind of get a little bit different, but a similar type of dog with the Boston Terrier by it breeding to a French Bulldog. So hope this video helped you get to see some French Den puppies. Definitely check out if it's a 50-50 French Den or a three-quarter French Den like this litter here. If, again, if you want more of a, a boxy, um, if you want more of a uh, plump, short and stocky one, definitely go with the three-quarter if you can find those. Those are harder to find than just the 50-50s. Uh, this one here you can tell is nice and chunky. So. Yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in our next one. Thanks and have a great day.